Good evening, Northern Colorado. This is Bob, W0BNC, located in Nunn, and I'll be net control for tonight's NCARC TechNet. Purpose of the TechNet is to enlighten amateur radio operators on topics of a technical nature. We will do our best to answer any technical questions for the benefit of all those who are listening. If there is a subject that has never been made quite clear to you, this is a great opportunity to find an answer. If anyone on the net feels they have information that will help regarding the subject, please give your call sign and net control will call on you. This net may be interrupted at any time for emergencies or priority traffic. If you need to use a system for an emergency during the net, say break and give your call sign. We will acknowledge you and suspend the net until you advise that you are clear. Is there any emergency or priority traffic at this time? All licensed amateur radio operators with 70 centimeter privileges are encouraged to check into the net. Club membership is encouraged but never required for participation. Check-ins are requested for the purpose of county participation and no checkout is required. This is W0BNC Net Control for tonight's NCARC TechNet. When checking in, please give your call sign slowly, first alphabetically, then again using the ITU phonetic alphabet, along with your name and location. When checking in, please state if you will have a topic that you would like to discuss. Check-ins will be taken in groups of three. When I acknowledge the first group of three, we'll then move on to the next. I'll start by taking check-ins from call suffixes alpha through mic. Alpha through mic, call now. Kilo Alpha 6, Echo, Tango Echo, Jim and Loveland. K0 ARD, Kilo 0 Alpha Romeo Delta, and Mobile. W0LEI, Whiskey 0, Lima Echo, India, Chad, and Stout. Okay, net acknowledges KA6ETE, K0ARD, and W0LEI. I had a double with LEI, so if I did not call your call sign, please come again. Oh, I guess not. Okay, we'll move on to the next group of three. This is Kilo 0, Mike Lima Golf, Marty Bubble. And did you get Ann in there, Bob? I think that might have been the double. I did. This is. November zero, Echo Mike Pop High and Zero EMP. Greg in Fort Collins, Debbie. Kilo Zero, Delta Bravo Echo. K Zero, DBE. This is Kilo Zero, Alpha Zulu Alpha, Ron in Fort Collins. Okay, that acknowledges K Zero MLG, N Zero EMP, K Zero DBE, and K Zero AZA. We'll go on to the next group of three. AE0KO, Alpha Echo, Zero Kilo Oscar, Brad and Fort Collins. Kilo Foxtrot, Zero Golf Quebec Hotel, KF0GQH, with KF0LAU, Kilo Foxtrot, Zero, Lima Alpha Uniform, Kent and Lorraine in Wellington. Yeah, I have AE0KO. KF0GQH and KF0LAU. We'll go on to the next three. N0PNK, November 0, Bravo November Kilo, Rick and Laporte. W0 Delta Papa Charlie, Whiskey 0 Delta Papa Charlie, Don and Longmont. Okay, I have N0BNK and W0DPC. We'll go ahead and open it up. All call, suffix, all call suffixes alpha through Zulu. This is KB0YDN, Kilo Bravo Zero, Yankee Delta November, Eric, Pinewood Reservoir. This is N0NYY, November Zero, November Yankee Yankee, Bart in Evans. Good evening. This is KD0TYU, Kilo Delta Zero, Tango Yankee Uniform, Joe and Loveland, and I do have an announcement to make. Okay, then that acknowledges KB0YDN, N0NYY, and KD0TYU with an announcement. Uh, next group of three, Alpha through Zulu. KF0, KXS, Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Kilo X-Ray Sierra, Vena Mobile. Kilo 3, Sierra Alpha Delta, K3, SAD, George and Winter. Okay, I have KF0, KXS and K3SAD. Any others before we move on? 
Okay. Um, first off, I want to apologize right out of the gate. I do not have a topic for tonight. Been crazy busy here the last couple of weeks, and I just got back from camping, and my alarm reminded me 30 minutes ago I was net control. So my apologies. Uh, so if anyone has anything they would like to discuss, uh, please throw your call sign out. Uh, first of all, we'll go to Joe, KD0TYU. Go ahead with your announcement, Joe. Thanks, Bob, for taking the net. You know, everybody really does a really good job on this net, except for me <laughs> as for net control. I just want to make an announcement. We've got a programming class coming up in, on September 9th, and I've already got a few people that signed up for it. If we don't start getting some more people that might be interested in it, I might have to cancel this. It's going to be um, kind of an overall thing. We're going to start with an overall thing about how repeaters work and things like that, and then Darren and I are going to go through RT systems and chirp, and then we will help anybody that needs help uh, program the radios. So go on NCART and sign up on Sign Up Genius so we can do this. It's a free course, and it's going to be up at the library at the Front Range College. Uh, starting, I think, at 9 o'clock and going till whatever. <laughs> so with that, back to net. YDN, question. YDN, go ahead. Hi, this is KV0 YDN. I usually do fine on the programming once I have a programmer tool and cable appropriate for my radio. But uh, I've been trying to get Chirp to work under Linux, and it had to install from a flat pack and I kept getting bad installs on it. Have you guys, are you guys planning to do, you know, anything for uh, uh, installing uh, software on Linux for the feeble-minded? I wouldn't say it's feeble-minded. I uh, don't know. I've never, never thought about that. Uh, uh, it might be something. I guess we could. In that case, I'll sign up. kb 0 ydn back to net. Excellent. Thank you, Joe. Anybody else have any topics they would like to discuss? MLG. MLG, I got you. Hold on one sec. And I think you was in there as well, K0ARD. Was that you? If so, go ahead with your question. Yes, that was me. So I have a question. I am recently the new owner of an all-electric car. And I'm wondering if anybody has any experience with installing radios in their all-electric cars and how to handle some of the and why why? I was hoping you'd jump in, Bart. Take it away. I'll be happy to. Um, I have a Kia Nero EV, and I have I have discovered that uh, the uh, cigarette lighter is a bad idea. Hold on just a second. Sorry, I had a house full of guests, and they were just leaving. Um, the cigarette lighter plug in my vehicle has yielded some issues. It is designed for 180 watts, which is 15 amps at 12 volts, and you can exceed that pretty easily with a 50 watt radio, so you have to turn the power down. Um, there's also some issues with running high power and uh, getting a little bit of noise from the inverter. I haven't had to deal with the inverter noise problem yet. Um, wiring the radio directly to the 12 volt battery becomes very critical, as does installing filters. Now, while the cigarette lighter plug is only capable of 15 amps, uh, there's an inverter that drops the 300 volt battery down to 12 volts, and it's capable of 250 amps. So there's plenty of power available for the 12 volt battery. The potential issue there becomes if you deplete that 12 volt battery, you know, to the degree that the automotive systems can't function, your car won't function at all until you get that 12 volt battery back up, which means that using an auto power off or a separate relay from the ignition to control that power to the battery becomes a good idea. That's a brief synopsis. Uh, there's an awful lot more that could be to it, but I would also be happy to carry that on over email and if you prefer. Uh, M0NYY. And why do you comment? Why do you go ahead? Uh, cigarette lighters are very high resistant conduction, uh, connections, and you can melt them very, very easily. Ask me how I know this. Um, I'm a strong p proponent of using Anderson power poles everywhere you can, and I wouldn't pull more than three or four amps through a cigarette lighter, with and with that some very, very
very, very cautious uh, 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 conditions by checking the thing very often for how much heat is on the cigarette lighter plug itself. Keep it your old idea and back to that. Thank you very much. It's extremely useful. My, I was reading the instructions on my Yesu 891. It actually specifically states do not uh, connect via the cigarette lighter. So that all fits. Um, but I'm glad to know that it's possible to filter out and connect it up appropriately without too much radio interference. The 891 actually talks specifically about making sure you're not near this kind of uh, connection and this kind of connection, otherwise you get interference, et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of putting me off a little bit. Thanks a lot. And Bart, yeah, we could probably chat about this some more. Thanks. All right. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate that. K0MLG, go ahead, Marty. Before I uh, start, and you're really, your audio is really weak. Need to get into that mic. And uh, I and uh, another pontoon boat owner were talking about adding accessories and whatnot. We're kind of looking for some aluminum magnets. Where would we find those? In the glue section at Home Depot and Zero NYY. I was going to suggest drilling a hole and hardware section of Home Depot. K3SAD with a hole for Gorilla Glue. It is amazing. K0ART, how about uh, sticky Velcro tape? <laughs> uh, I was kind of hoping somebody was having a drink, taking a drink and just uh, blew it all through their nose with that question. But there is a uh, type of glue that I would learned um, and I've never heard about it. It is called um, the last glue. I guess this um, buddy of mine seen at a trade show. This guy will take two pieces of rubber, like a uh, quarter-inch round piece of rubber, eight inches long, for just for example and put a drop of glue on it, stick it together, hand it to you, and tell you to try to take it apart. It can't be done. Never heard of it, but I guess this stuff glues like crazy. And then another thing, instead of Velcro, I've never heard of It's plastic, two pieces of plastic called Duo, D-U-O, dash lock, L-O-C-K, Duo lock. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the jocularity. K-Zero-M-L-G. K-O. Go ahead, Brett. Yeah, while we're... On that subject of jocularity, how about uh, low voltage solder? Anybody know where I can get any of that? Probably at the same hardware store that has them aluminum magnets. Yeah, I couldn't resist. Sorry about that. <laughs> Back to the net. I got to admit, when I heard uh, aluminum magnets, I just stared at the radio and was hoping somebody else would say something, so I didn't have to. <laughs> All right. Uh, anybody else have any uh, topics or questions or concerns they'd like to see if they could get answered tonight? And why, why? Go ahead, Bart. I have an announcement. This Wednesday is the ham radio lunch at Perkins in Loveland. The one Mark affectionately called TechNet with lunch. That starts at 1130 at Perkins. Perkins is 2222 West Eisenhower in Loveland. West Eisenhower is Highway 34. Uh, typically runs till 1 o'clock, give or take. There are typically 8 to 15 people there, I think, is a good estimate. And uh, the reason Mark liked to call it TechNet with lunch was because there will be anywhere from two to 500 years of radio experience from sitting around that place. So if you've got questions, uh, it's a great place to uh, get answers. It's a great social thing. It's a lot of fun to uh, put put faces with call signs and faces with voices, and uh, uh, just a general wonderful good time. So this Wednesday, 11:30, Perkins in Loveland. Thank you, Bart. Appreciate that. Anyone else have any topics or questions for tonight? Okay, hearing none, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. And again, I apologize for not having a topic chosen for tonight. Just uh, things kind of ran a little late. I will do better next month. 
With that, this is W0BNC Net Control for the Colorado Northern Colorado Amateur Radio Club Weekly TechNet. Uh, before we go, do we have any late check-ins? KA2AUZ, Paul and Milliken. All right, I've got KA2AUZ, and there was a double with Paul. Um, if I didn't call your call sign, come back again. This is KM6VAY. Steve in Sedalia. All right, KM6VAY. Steve, thank you. Uh, before, um, did either of you two have anything you want to discuss or just checking in? Just checking in. Checking in. Thank you. All right, got you both checking in. With that, this concludes the NCARC TechNet. Net Control would like to thank each station for their participation. We had a total of 24 check ins with Net Control tonight. Uh, this net will occur again next Monday at the same time on this repeater. This is W0BNC closing the net at 1822. 7 Good night, everyone. This presentation was brought to you by the Northern Colorado Amateur Radio Club. For more information, visit our website, ncarc.net. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.